Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Ruby almost just got hit by a car. Well, hello there, gorgeous people. Happy Friday. Let's find this lighting here. What's going on? Okay, there. Welcome to a weekend of my life. We're starting this weekend on a Friday. I'm walking to work right now. Got up early to meet up with Miss Raina before work because that's what that's what we nine to five girls got to do um, to literally hang out. So got coffee with her and it was so lovely. Raina's one of those people that just breathes life back into you. You know what I mean? When you see a friend that you love that just like just gives it back to you and you're like, wow. That like, you know, you could just chat for fucking hours with. That's Miss Raina. So, loved it, love her. Started the day right. Now, um, we're feeling good. We're feeling ready to work. Let's rock. Here's the fit. Prop you guys up and show you my outfit in just a sec. And then the weekend will begin. Let's rock. Honestly, I'm gonna put this in now. Enjoy this little clip of me literally on the verge of death after an Orange Theory class where the AC was broken. And I literally felt like I was like I said, on the verge of death. Okay. Almost there. Whew. No, you g You guys. No, you guys? <laughs> Am I okay? The answer is no. I am not okay. <laughs> First of all, I look like fucking Vision from Marvel. I like actually can't look at myself right now. Um, I'm just picking up the camera right now because I need to vent. Bro, the AC on my Orange Theory was broken today. It's, what's the temperature out there? It literally, I feel like it's probably gonna be like, it is 89 degrees. I'm so hot. I've never been that, I've never, my body temperature has never risen that high and my like my feet felt like they were as hot as the surface of the sun in my sneakers. My socks are soaked. My whole body was glistening with sweat until I like walked around my neighborhood until I could like breathe. I took so many breaks and I still feel like I'm dying. I'm so red, I'm purple. Does that even make any sense? Anyways, I'm gonna go stand in the cold shower. Just wanted to pop in and say hey. Also, <laughs> I really 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 sweet i was picking up my food for dinner because obviously i have to go grocery shopping and i don't have time to do that at the moment but i will after work one day or maybe this weekend i love this girl's outfit she looks so cute she's with her boyfriend she's picking up food at the same place i picked up food at i like paid for my food and then i was like waiting for my food and got my food and then when i was walking out it's like you know i love to when i think something when i love something when i think of a compliment for somebody just in my head it's my right to share it let me share it you know what i mean so I was like, I'm gonna tell her I love her outfit. I was like, I love your outfit, by the way. And it was kind of like, eh. And she was like, oh my God, thanks. Like, you too, girl. Like, you too, girl. You look so cute. You too, girl. You too, girl. Listen, just say thank you. That was good. Love her. But I had like my new balances and my Trader Joe's back. And I actually look really insane. So that was really nice for her. But... Bitch, I look crazy, but thank you so much. I love her for lying. Okay, I need a shower. I'm going to shower and I'm going to watch Love Island and I can't fucking wait. <laughs> frozen Aperol Spritz and a frozen Pina Colada. We're at Stretto, whoa, in Greenpoint. <laughs> Very delicious, very delicious, very good. We're pre-gaming our drinks with friends. We went to Taqueria Ramirez before this. Showed you guys my outfit of the day. We'll have Kieran film that for us. Ain't that right? I'm nine, they're eight. In my bedroom? Oh no. Door 
pretty yummy. Do you think they make a porn star martini here? I tucked in my bang because it's driving me crazy. Earrings thrifted. Dress thrifted. New one from Arf when I went in my last video. Then my little Capri Adidas. Oh no, they're Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture Capri thrifted. Shoes miss 60. Let me prop you up and show you. Hi everybody, I'm about to head to like Lower East Side Chinatown area to meet up with Hadley. This morning I was in New Jersey to get bagels with our friend Diane who lives in Jersey who's leaving for the rest of the summer so we all got a little coffee and bagels in the morning but I didn't vlog it because you know we were just catching up, vibing, whatever, it was early. So now I'm going to start the vlog. Today's Saturday. Um, today I'm wearing a silly little outfit. I'm wearing a one-piece bathing suit. I really am. It's so hot. I didn't really want to wear a cropped anything, so here we are. I'm not feeling it. My stomach's not feeling it. Gold door knocker lion earrings. Got my new wildflower case. It's Taylor's collab with them, and I literally love it. I think it's so cute. Um, my Leo case is still, like, my go-to, because that's such, like, I feel like that case is part of me. Um, but this just fits the outfit today, and I just, I'm digging it. The little boxers that I got in my last video, so we're wearing these guys. And then the kitten heels that I got in my last video as well. So here's a little look, and then this bag that I thrifted, and I'm hanging my little charm bracelet. This bathing suit's vintage, I gotta have Yvonne vintage. Super casual, super chill. We are going to Shanfu to get really amazing, delicious fruit slushies, and I'll take you guys there. I went for the first time this summer, and now I go all the time. It's like what I need on a hot, hot, hot day, so I'm so excited to go. And then me and Hadley are gonna walk around, catch up. I miss the hell out of her, so can't wait to just walk around. And then I'm getting dinner with my lovely girls who I worked the like Sintra show last fashion week with. And they're my girls. And we're getting dinner tonight and I'll take you guys along as well. So that's the game plan. Love you, let's do it. Let's go, let's have a great day. Let's rock. Okay, I know you guys, our renaissance looks just came in the mail. If, I've talked about this a couple times, also ignore how I look right now, please, for the love of God. Um, I mentioned it in a couple of my videos, but in case you're unaware, um, my friend Riss, who owns Creative Director, Designer, at Rizzo the Label, um, me and my three girlfriends that I'm going to the show with, um, we requested some custom looks from her. We like all watched together. It was such a sick and fun collaboration. It's cohesive custom looks inspired by like the looks Destiny's Child used to wear, um, where it was like different silhouettes but made out of the same fabrics. So the fabrics we chose and that Riza does really well, um, we wanted to do stuff that like, we know she's done and like she would be able to do in the way that like we kind of envisioned whatever whatever and like we just like love the look of this she does a little denim set like none other put up some examples here um she made like cali a look which you guys know how i feel about cali which is i literally died for her i'm getting a facetime oh it's karen i want to show my outfit but yeah we did denim and we did black lace as like our combo look and everybody has different silhouettes and shapes and styles and i want to show you guys mine okay i showed kieran quickly via facetime but basically my look was really inspired by <laughs> fancy fancy club i won't shut the fuck up about them but you guys know i just like die for their recent collection and i think a lot of it is so kind of like edgy funky punk but with a western kind of twist and that's like kind of the take i wanted to go or the direction i wanted to go for renaissance anyways the aesthetic just like vibes really well with the album and I just wanted to go in that direction. I knew I wanted majority of the outfit to be black lace because I'm obsessed with it and I just feel like they're like I'll have these pieces for forever and they're sick layering pieces. Basically I went in, I love tops like these. I've talked about this before, like this kind of 90s silhouette of like super drapey off the shoulder but then like tight on the waist, like just 
classic 90s vibes so i wanted the top like that and make it black lace and then i just wanted classic black lace pants really to evoke the bottom situation happening here in this fancy club outfit i'm obsessed with this look and i asked for rizza if she could possibly make this fringe skirt but in denim and she did it and she did it and blew my mind the mind you like we just took this out of the um package so the skirt is like creased so i have to like iron it out and make sure they're like really flat but other than that it's literally perfect i think rizza did like such a good job i can't believe it like i mean i can believe it because i knew she would but it's just so cool like i literally texted her like the most bare minimum like notes description and like pictures and references and she asked me like three questions and then boom here we are she just like deserves all the love she's doing some sick stuff and she's so talented and her clothes fit amazing her tie-up capris are like my favorite things ever trisha my friend is doing those in denim and then like a black lace top like that's gonna be major leslie's doing her booty shorts and then naya has kind of like a like a chap situation going on with a little top leslie's got a little bra top with like an under shirt no i'm guys i'm so excited i can't even deal I can't even do but it's this Wednesday which is fucking crazy and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing as much as I can when I actually get to the actual show every time you see Beyonce it is like there's like an ungodly experience and I just like need to be present and take it all in so I'm not gonna like film the concert too much vlog wise there's so many TikToks that you can look up any song that she does for me, it's like the getting ready process, the outfits, like we're going to Philly, which is her first US show. So we got tickets to that show. Um, and I literally can't wait. I'm so excited. I pray, pray, pray blue comes out. I just, I'm really hoping that she does. I would love it. I'll still have so much fun if she doesn't, but I would die for that. I would literally die for that. So, okay, I got out all my silver accessories, any bags that I think could work. My cowgirl hat I have, I think that would be major and like look cool, but realistically, dancing wise, comfortability wise, it's gonna be 92 degrees. And I'm in long pants and a long sleeve top. So a hat, I don't know about, you know? I know for makeup, I wanna do a chrome lip inspired by Aoife, cause she does the sickest chrome lip. And I've saved her TikToks on her chrome lips for like ages, cause I wanna recreate them so bad. I'll link them in the description. But I'm figuring that out and I'm figuring out shoes as well. So I laid out all my accessories and we're gonna decide on the final look because it's Sunday and we leave Wednesday. My friends leave Tuesday night, but it's my friend Raina's birthday Tuesday night. So I'm celebrating with her and then I leave for Philly Wednesday morning. Took work off. This is a this is a holiday. This is a celebration. This is an all day event. And we obviously need to go early to get merch. Here's the look. Here's the top. So fucking sick. She did the scallop detail, which she did on some of the other girls' looks. So like that's gonna be connecting it through. You know what I mean? This sleeve is so drama mama, and I'm obsessed. It's more dramatic than I imagined, but it's perfect. Like. It's so good and like so diva. I'm literally so into it. I'm literally wearing Calvin Klein boy shorts, so like please ignore that. Thank you so much. This is the skirt of my dreams. This is so fucking cool. I'm gonna wear this all the time. It is the coolest fucking thing ever. I think I'll probably wear like just like black thong or like black little undies that are, I'm doing laundry right now. They're in the wash, so I'm gonna pack those. And I want the belt buckle to rest on the hip so it's kind of like open on the leg. Cool in the front, cause it's giving chap vibes, like Naya's kind of look, and that would tie that in. So we could see how we feel, especially with the underwear, like the black underwear under it. I don't love how it's looking with the boy short moment, but there's something about the hip that I just love. I can't deal with these custom looks. It's so extra, but I'm like, I've always wanted to have a Destiny's Child moment with friends. Like it's so like 2000s movie vibes. Like when it, like a friend group comes in, all look similar, but they all kind of have like different outfits. I don't know that energy of like rolling with my girl squad. Like I just, I can't. I'm getting too excited, I'm honestly sweating. And then yeah, here are the pants. This, I'm wearing my little black heels. So you can really see them in this leg. And then in this leg, I'm wearing these boots because I just wanted to see how these would look. I do really, really like the look of this leg because and not having something at the calf, like it just being all sheer lace and then like a heel. Going to be dancing for five hours straight before, during, and after that concert. So we just want to be wary of that. These shoes like have been fixed by a cobbler and like made to my feet. And they're like my most comfortable heels other than my little flip floppy ones. So they're definitely a possibility. Like I'm not ruling them out because I could make it happen. And like, there's no way I'll be complaining. Like my feet could be bleeding and like, I would be fine. 
because of where I am and what I'm doing. I don't think the boots look necessarily bad. It's just the calf part that's bugging me. Accessories wise, I ordered like the sick bundle of like vintage chrome silver accessories from Etsy. It was like $50 and there was like, you know how you can do that with like Etsy sellers and stuff, like vintage bundles of rings and things like that. But these are specifically necklaces and like pendants and earrings. So I ordered that. I'm not sure if it'll come in time, but I'm styling a show for New York Fashion Week. Um, and the designer, Ben, who I'm working with and whose show it is, um, requested chrome accessories specifically. So either way, I need them and I think they're amazing. And if they don't come on time, that's okay because I do have some stuff I can work with, but they would be really cool for this. So crossing my fingers, they come. Naya just gave me this fan when I came over um, and picked up the stuff because Riz sent it to Naya's apartment. Um, Naya's one of my friends that's going to the concert. The fan that I like do my makeup with is this fan that I got for like my Marie Antoinette costume. This is way more Renaissance. It goes with my outfit. I turned off my AC to film this. So it's not loud and now I'm sweating. So this is feeling really good. Here's my black cowgirl hat that I could wear the thing about like trying on looks you're excited to try on with like no B and like hair not done because like it's fucking with the vision of it all Ugh, guys I don't know what are your what's your vote on the hat this is actually perfect because this video is going up on Monday it is Sunday right now um so I have to edit this lol like now um but concerts on Wednesday so we have time if you guys comment what you think regarding the hat please let me know Please do let me know. I really think I need to do the heel. Guys. Accessories wise, this is dinky. Nope. I took out all like my chrome accessories. You know, we have this. Feels basic and done. So I don't want that necessarily. Same with this. Like, come on. It's renaissance. Like, I need to give, I don't know, like something crazy. This just doesn't feel like enough. I want like a funkier pendant. I mean, you guys know I could do this and you guys know I probably want to, but I don't think this is necessarily crazy renaissance, but it does go in my mind as well. So that's potential, a fun option. That could be kind of cool. So I'll bring this. Earrings wise, I have like a little hoop, big hoop, and then these cool spiky hoops with a little moon, which I think could kind of be cool. I'm into these earrings. I think they're cool. This little black bag. Drink's coming off. I gotta clip this. Not taking away from the outfit. Not too much. I like that it connects kind of rectangular belt buckle situation. This coach bag with the studs. And it's just kind of like a thicker strap. The way the bag like fastens and the closure is very important to me with the concert. You know what I mean? So this like snaps and locks. And it just like flaps over. And there's a pretty good amount of room in it. That's the other thing, like what can I fit more in? So I need to look up the like bag policy at this arena situation. Um, because I know there's a clear bag thing, there's a things you can and can't bring, whatever. So gotta look that up. Then the biggest bag option is this like Kipling and Anna Sui collab. Silver detail and then blue and purple. I don't really like it at all. Yeah, I don't like it. And then the last option is this. Like it's it's a bag made out of like the recycled paper and it's chrome and then like red white and blue america has that problem hello first u.s show hello so i don't know does this look too random i guess we'd have to try this bag on with like all the chrome accessories to have it make sense and like my makeup too so i might bring this bag as an option but is it kind of dinky and stupid i can't tell you guys it's super lightweight and like kind of fun i never wear this bag so this is the last option and it zips, which is great. We love a zipper. But yeah, that is the way to have the bag on. That is the Renaissance look. I need to obviously fine tune all the details and hopefully my Etsy order comes in and we'll see. Next video will definitely be the Beyonce vlog. If you're going to see her, let me know what you're wearing. I wanna know. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me always. You guys are literally the best. I adore each and every one of you. I hope you have a fabulous week, whatever this week entails for you. I'm hoping it's fabulous and amazing and perfect. And yeah, I'm sending you all my love and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys. I love you.